Today we'll be unboxing and restoring a Ludwig & Ludwig separate tension snare drum from around the 1920s. It's a 12 by 15 drum with a three ply mahogany shell and reinforcement rings with all the hardware on the drum being nickel over brass. I found this drum on eBay for 50 bucks. I've always wanted a snare drum like this just because of the tube lugs. This is a project of mine that I've been meaning to finish for a long time. But before I leave, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more drum related content. The list of materials for this project are down in the description. First off, I want to say that after all the work, the drum is about 95% original. Everything except for the strainer, key, wires, and heads are original. The strainer is a Ludwig P83 from the 1970s. 
I chose this so I could throw the snares on and off faster. I reused the mounting hardware from the original strainer so I wouldn't damage the shell. The drum key is actually a DW. Surprisingly, it fits in the key holder. The snares, believe it or not, are the low A strings off an acoustic guitar. I only put four wires on this drum just to see if this would actually work, and it does. Having only four wires opens the drum up a little more. I might consider adding an extra two wires later on so I can get more snare response. Lastly, the drum head I used is actually a calfskin head that I retucked over the original flesh hoop that came with the drum. Yes, yes, I know, these drums usually had white calfskin heads instead of transparent ones, like the one that's on a drum now. I couldn't find any white calfskin, so I had to go with transparent. I bought an 18 inch skin off a of Drum Factory Direct. I'll be making a video discussing how to tuck skin drum heads very soon, if you're interested in that. With all that said, let's hear it. 